So no doubt, Cyberpunk 2077 has certainly been a huge, huge game. Some would say maybe that's been the game, the talk of E3 for 2018. Certainly, it's one of the most popular games that people have been talking about. And for this game was announced, it's been a while now, years in fact, and CD Projekt Red finally was able to unveil the curtain. And of course, we first saw the first trailer at the end of the Xbox press briefing. And a select amount of gamers and journalists have been able to see a, the actual gameplay behind closed doors. Hopefully we'll be able to see that in the not too distant future. Really interesting, I do have to point out to you though, Mel Jesus Rocks, his Instagram, I have to share this post that he shared, he got to see the gameplay. He said, Cyberpunk 2077, the live demo blew my mind. That stuff you saw in the E3 uh, 2018 trailer, that's what it looks and plays like. And this sweet press kit ain't bad either. That's pretty amazing. I mean, <laughs> holy cow, the trailer, you know, kind of put things in perspective, you know, several years ago you had games where it would be kind of transition, where you'd have the cutscene, then the gameplay, cutscene, gameplay. Now games are looking, are just so advanced and running so well. For instance, with God of War, it's just a transition where you go to story, to gameplay, story, to gameplay. It's just one really cohesive element and experience, which I am totally for, totally for. Now in terms of the map for Cyberpunk 2077, this is something that's been up for debate for a long time. For the past several months, over a year, people have been talking about how it's been rumored, how Cyberpunk 2077 is like four times the size. Rumors have said it's four times the size of The Witcher 3, and that's not confirmed at all. And people have actually been doing mock-ups of the map of Night City, people have known like, well, this is actually what Cyberpunk 27, it's called Night City. They're like, well, this could be, this is gonna be downtown, this is what this area is gonna be like. They've done mock-ups of what the map for Cyberpunk 277. But we do actually have some information as regards to the map. Is it gonna be huge? Is it gonna be massive? Obviously, it's gonna be open world experience, it's gonna be driving around, going on foot, motorcycle, car. Let me give you the details. Recently, Eurogamer had an interview uh, with CD Projekt Red, and they got to speak with the Quest designer, Patrick Mills. Eurogamer asked, relative to the world of The Witcher 3, how does Night City compare size-wise? Patrick Mills responds, in terms of specific size, it's really difficult to tell because Witcher 3 was flat, and our game is very vertical. You've got a footprint in Witcher 3 and that's it. But our game just goes up and up and up and up. So we can put a lot of stuff in there. It's going to be really dense. We've got six districts. You just saw a little bit of Watson, which is a fallen corporate giant. Each district will feel distinct. There will be a lot to see and a lot to do. It's very big, it's very big. And then Eurogamer asks, but you're not putting a size on it. Patrick Mills responds, we can't put a number on it yet. We're still building it. It's difficult to say exactly how big, is, how big it's going to be, and we don't want to put any numbers on it, but it's going to be huge. Now, this is really very, very interesting. It's obviously one a big map, but unlike The Witcher 3, you've got these massive skyscrapers in Cyberpunk 2077, obviously you're not going to be able to go up each, you know, massive building that each floor you can be able to explore. But a lot of these buildings you are going to be able to explore. And as far as square footage and areas to check out, this game, as this designer said, is going to be massive. It's going to be very, very huge. And What's kind of cool is, you know, like, you know, we don't really have a number on it. We're still building. We want to put as much content as much as possible. And one of the main reasons why people are so excited for this game is CD Projekt Red. They're known for releasing high quality titles and people who have bought their past titles in the past, they have no problem buying this game on launch day because they know they're going to get a whole lot of value. Yes, it's going to be a massive open world. There's a lot of open world games with big maps, but they might not necessarily have the best experiences. 
But CD Projekt Red really has that formula. They know how to make not just great games, but great open world experiences. But guys, I just wanted to share that with you. In fact, it's been confirmed, as a lot of you might have already known, Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be huge. It's going to be massive. But guys, let me know your thoughts uh, on this game, if you will be picking it up. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later.